Hello and welcome. If you were to tell the world that you were a trumpet player, the instrument that would spring to your mind in many parts of the world is a piston instrument. This is my special four valve uh, piston uh, trumpet and this is the sort of thing, except a three valve version, that is standard uh, across many parts of the world. But in places like Europe, the instrument that is the most common is one of these. This is a rotary trumpet. Specifically, this is an orchestral rotary trumpet, so it's in the key of C, and it has a number of interesting features that we will be talking about in this video. Now, one of the things that some rotary trumpets have, and indeed this one has, are these extra keys. So we have the standard water key on the side here that pretty much every brass instrument, apart from French horns, uh, have as standard, but we also have these two extra keys here. Now these are called Vienna keys. This one here is called the B flat key, and starting from a high F, you've got high F, B flat D, and very high F. Uh, this note, this key can help with the slotting and accuracy of those notes. This one is the A key, so it does fourth space E, A, C sharp, and E. And then this one is the C key, the Vienna C key, which helps with A flat on the top of the stave, C, E flat, and A flat, something like that, those, those, those notes. And how these keys work is that they open up, uh, they're effectively additional water keys in their construction, but they're located in a particular point that helps the resistance or slotting of those notes. Talking specifically about this instrument, there are a few things that I want to point out. Firstly, we've got this thumb lever here, and this is a trigger that affects only the third valve tuning slide. And it's not adjustable. If you wanted the third valve tuning slide out, you know, a few millimetres or a centimetre and just leave it there all the time, you can't do that. Uh, unfortunately, that, that trigger is permanently attached to the third valve. On very expensive professional instruments, there uh, this is implemented a little bit differently. Your third valve trigger is adjustable and often this lever will also be attached to your first valve trigger uh, your first valve tuning slide so you can move both at the same time using the same trigger. So that's something that you don't get on this instrument compared to you know uber expensive professional ones. The, the next thing that I noticed is that these uh, Vienna keys have got little pieces of black plastic on them. These slide around when you're playing um, and they can actually get in the way so I'm very tempted to actually just pull these plastic covers off and leave them as exposed metal. Uh, we also have this weird piece of metal here that extends um, and is just a stop for this third, uh, this, the, the C key here. It's, it's a really inelegant way of solving what may or may not be a problem. I'm tempted to remove that and just see how I get on. This trumpet comes with a removable lead pipe, so you can take off the end of uh, a little screw that keeps it in place, and you can pry out this lead pipe. Uh, I don't, they're not selling additional lead pipes, so I don't know if these are interchangeable with any particular other rotary trumpets, or whether it's just a, a curious element of the, of the you know, uh, design, but it is something that I thought I'd mention anyway. One of my friends is a very accomplished trumpet player and I've had uh, I've given this to him to have a look at and he's very impressed with this. It's obviously not on the level of you know a, a really expensive Shargill or tying trumpet or something like that, but for the price, which is I believe around 1500 US dollars, you get a whole lot of trumpet for that uh, for that money. And if you are somebody who needs a European style orchestral trumpet in the key of C, then this is a fantastic instrument to consider. Thank you to Singer's Day for sending me this gorgeous trumpet. If you're interested in learning a little bit more about it, then there'll be some links down in the video description below. Thank you very much for watching. Uh -huh.